Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today. Today we have some great news coming up guys. We will talk about Starlink, we will talk about SpaceX and of course as always and every single day we will cover Tesla News and today we will talk about the so-called competition and why one special move that everyone criticized in a few months ago, one year ago, is now the big advantage for Tesla and we will cover that and let's dive into today's video and if you subscribe my channel you give me support for my work and I hope you follow me for my daily updates now guys so let's dive in so yes there was one move last year when they started um, delivering cars in China and what Tesla has done is they have foreseen the future that at some point all these battery manufacturers will come to its limits because other car companies will start um, having demand for batteries and as VW, BM, BMW, Daimler as an example don't produce their batteries um, by themselves they have to go to a manufacturer and they have to say well I need so many batteries. The issue here is Tesla on the other hand is producing batteries by themselves they have the long, long partnership with Panasonic and they have started a new partnership with LG and they will have more partnerships in the future. I'm pretty sure about that. But again, here comes the key. They have understood that they have to go to local suppliers in China, as an example, to Cattle, C-A-T-L written, and they have done contracts with them. And the key here is in any kind of industry, when someone comes to you and says they want to have a really big contract, really big volume, that's the best what to a company can happen because they can plan, they know what's going to happen, they know their books are full for the next few years and they have a big contract with a lot of volume and with that they can work cost efficient. So Tesla did that with Cuttle and now the funny part uh, happens. Now BMW, VW, BMW, VW and Daimler are trying to get batteries and the fun part is they are they have to wait in line and this is this is pretty astonishing because it was not foreseen a few years ago but now they have to stand in line they have to wait and they announce their products and they have to wait for batteries. I don't say that they don't get any batteries but it will be pretty hard for them to get in volume production when they don't get enough batteries. Tesla on the other hand has the advantage they have done this big contract already and with that the company the battery company says well we have this big contract here and yes we can produce for other people as well but just at a time when they have ramped up the production. So just as a reminder actually I'm talking here about the LFP cells and there was a lot of criticism that the LFP um, batteries were when recharging they didn't recharge properly etc etc and even though in Germany people um, received the car from China from Giga Shanghai we have seen many times that there were um, criticism about the fact that the batteries are not working pretty good. So what Tesla has done is they have done some updates to the technology they have done as they always do and since then it's actually working pretty well and at that time when Tesla decided to work with the LFP um, batteries it was actually um, yeah a lot of other people were saying well no you shouldn't use that you shouldn't work with um, these kind of batteries and now as they fixed the um, issue um, it is actually astonishing that they have managed to do that and on the other hand now all the other comp um, companies do see the potential to work with the LFP batteries but they are too late for the moment. So this gives Tesla such an amazing advantage right now. They have already a gap when it comes to volume production but the other car companies and this is not only including the German companies they uh, the other American companies or even some Chinese companies might get some issues here when it comes to have enough batteries. So Tesla has been a first mover not only with the technology but as well a first mover to understand the big potential of having long term um, relationships with suppliers to get all what they need. And as a reminder the LFP cells have the 
big big advantage of less costs and almost no cobalt inside so a part of this um, great situation um, tesla bought and elon Musk were again sued for tesla tweets so let's see how this is playing out and of course guys we will dive into the starlink and spacex news so what's happening with um, spacex well actually for those who are not following spacex every day um, you might be confused we see more and more um, yeah more and more flights and this is just like speeding up the rhythm um, when flights are happening so for the next spacex flight we have actually one planned for sunday and there was actually one um, a week ago so you see that the gap between flights are get, gets really close right now and they will be the 21st or uh, 21st um, flight for uh, Starlink satellites and they are cutting more and more satellites up there and they are also preparing the Starship currently the SN11 so um, let's see if that one works out in landing correctly which happened last time but afterwards we saw the explosion but I'm pretty sure that the next one or latest the one afterwards should perfectly work we have seen how fast um, SpaceX is adapting to the mistakes or issues that are happening. And this is the only way they have achieved so much success in the past that they were just trying, trying again and again and getting the mistakes out. That's the only way it works. Another thing, SpaceX has received two more missions um, from Space Force valued at $160 million. And a part of that just that happened after a recent raise um, from 850 million dollars that tes um, tesla i'm saying already sorry about that spacex of course um, raised and with that um, spacex is already at 74 billion dollars worth and if i'm not wrong here guys might correct me but in my opinion this is one of the biggest companies now on earth which is not trading at the stock market and I still believe that the Starlink um, IPO will happen to further finance the SpaceX missions and Elon will not bring SpaceX onto the trading platform. I don't think that this will happen, but we never know. So again, guys, SpaceX is already worth $75 billion. We have another Falcon 9 liftoff very soon with the Starlink um satellites on sunday if everything is going to according to plan so guys if you did enjoy my saturday news update do consider subscribing to my channel and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you again soon